Warning: The following fanfic reading contains profanity that is not suitable for younger audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. The problem with Pegasi, written by Short Skirts and Explosions. <laughs> Applejack's forehead tensed. She turned over in bed, fussing beneath the covers as she lingered just beneath the hazy epidermal layer of sleep. A few paces beside her, a persistent bumping noise rattled the panes of her second-story farmhouse window. Uh, uh. The mare pushed up, squatting like a grumpy feline in the center of her mattress. She blinked, her face freckled and blurry beneath a golden tussle of cowlicked veins. What in Celestia's name could this be now? Reaching out a numb huff, she tiredly padded out of bed and limped towards the window. Did Granny leave Winona outside again? I swear, if that pup made a mess in the rain gutters. The rattling persisted. Even as Applejack reached to the window and slid up with a forceful grunt. Hello there, Winona! She yawned, green eyes fluttering shut as she teetered in place. Applejack basked briefly in the cool, crisp kiss of autumn night, accompanied by a delightful serenade of crickets. She even almost smiled. Every dog has its day. I as well earn its nap too. Something certifiably bigger and bluer than Winona whisked by the mare. Applejack's eyes slid it open, and she blinked in abject confusion. Wait. Her orange muzzle twisted. Winona ain't got no feathers. She immediately pivoted about, eyes drifting across the wooden floorboards of her room, the brown oak of her dresser, the fuzzy blue pegasus curled up on her bed, the pitcher of water on her table. <gasps> Rainbow! <sighs> Rainbow Dash gargled mindlessly in her sleep. A stupid smile grazed her muzzle while her slumbering body settled deeper and deeper into the warm impression that Applejack's body had made in the bed over the past few hours. Uh! Applejack stomped over, gnashing her teeth. Concerning Rainbow, not again! She shook the bed covers. Wake up, you lazy varmint! Need your house nor your bed, now get! When no amount of shaking solved the situation, Applejack let loose a lengthy growl, <clears throat> pivoted on her haunches, and bucked the bed hard. <clears throat> Rainbow Dash lifted in the air, twirled twice, then came straight back down on fluttering wings. She landed in the dead center of the mattress, her body spread out like a deflated balloon. In the end, she looked even comfier than before, lying face up with her forelimbs curled above her fuzzy chest. Mm. <sighs> Applejack oh, heaved on. and heaved, her face so you red that it chased the freckles away. She grabbed a pitcher of water from her bedside and raised it high above her head, targeting Rainbow's peaceful, slumbering face. After a few heavy breaths, every muscle in Applejack's body sagged. She planted the pitcher back onto the table with a defeated sigh. Ah, ah shucks. Yanking the loose duvet and pillow from the bed, Applejack proceeded to march out of the room, one tired off after another. I'm gonna talk to Twilight soon about hammering your tail to the floor with magical nails, I swear. Morning came. <coughs> the rooster crowed over Sweet Apple Acres. 
Bright golden sunlight peeked through the front windows to Applejack's first floor living room. The mare's green eyes fluttered open. She lay on the living room sofa, feeling warm and secure with her pillow and comforter. Gazing out upon the toasty glow of morning, Applejack smiled. She allowed herself a lazy yawn to greet the day, then closed her eyes once more. Limbs stirring, she pulled the soft blue wings closer, wrapping the feathers warm and tight around her body. Applejack's eyes flew wide open. Huh? She looked over her shoulder. <coughs> A smiling, drooling rainbow dash unconsciously spooned her from behind. Go! Applejack tossed, twisted, turned, and finally wriggled her way out from the soft, velvety forest that was Rainbow Dash's wings. She landed on heavy hooves in the middle of the living room, then spun to snarl at the couch. Dang, damn it! She kicked the couch. Hard. <laughs> Rainbow Dash fell to the floor. She rolled over, her legs sticking straight up and partially bent. Ah, AJ. That is. What's it gonna take to wake you? One of them polo mallets to the skull? She raised an angry huff, shook, then collapsed with a grumbling sigh. <sighs> Stepping over Rainbow's sleeping form, she marched tiredly off towards the front door. Outhouse, 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 no! Rarity hummed to the drum beat of a coffee maker's percolation. She leaned forward, eyelashes fluttering as she poured a steamy hot brew into her floating mug. A slowly waking smile crossed her pale muzzle as she pivoted to face the opposite end of Sure Cube Corner. Just as she brought the coffee to her lips, however, she froze upon seeing a slouching orange figure seated at the far end of the bakery. Rarity squinted, stared. Then, with ladylike grace, she shuffled quietly across the empty space between her and her friend. The fashionista took a seat across from the table, and Applejack didn't protest. Good morning, darling. I... I hope... Mm. Teetering, Applejack hid half her baggy eyes beneath the protected shade of her hat. Morning, I reckon. Rarity took another sip. Then, placing the mug on the tabletop, she leaned forward on crossed forelimbs. Allow me to guess. She arched a single eyebrow. Rainbow Dash? Mm. Applejack face planted against the table. Rarity tried not to wince. Ahem. She couldn't help but reach forward and strain some of Applejack's loose bangs. How many times does that make it this week? Three? Four? Mm. For the third month in a row. She sleeps like a rock, too. If I tossed her into the family well, she'd just grow gills and climb back out to find her way to my bed. Applejack, darling, you're an honest mare. Rarity leaned back, cradling her coffee mug. Surely you can just tell our favorite somnambulist about her problem. <laughs> I don't try. Applejack cackled, raising her wrinkled face. She tossed her forelimbs in the air, moaning. Ugh, all she does is laugh at me. She thinks I'm joking. Ain't my fault my family done on a camera, or else I'd give her proof. That does seem like a terribly hard thing to set up, come to think about it. <coughs> Applejack rubbed and rubbed her fuzzy face. <sighs> I mean it, Rarity. If this keeps up, I'm gonna ask Twilight for some of her professional magic label. Like, send her ass to the moon. Hmm. 
And surely no pony can blame you, dear. But I hate to do it. You know how easy Rainbow Dash gets embarrassed by the silliest of things? I, ooh, mama. If I tell the princess about her little sleep fly problem, then soon enough, all of Ponyville, every single pony will know about it and they'll be talking about it and she will be the laughing stock of all pony kind. You just wait and see, okay? Sounds like quite a predicament. But so is this trial of nightly nonsense you're going through. And I do hate to see you suffer so. If only there was, I don't know. Applejack rubbed her head, wincing. Some way of figuring out why she's always so drawn towards me whenever she falls into a deep sleep flat. Rarity's eyes started left and right. Then, with a bright smile, she exclaimed, Perhaps it's simply a matter of location, darling. Beg your pardon? Location, location, location! <laughs> Rarity finished the last of her brew, placed the mug down, and stood up. Come, I have the absolute most perfect plan to get you some much needed Jedi tonight. Oh, Rarity, you didn't have to do this. Ugh. Applejack stifled a yawn, crawling onto the plush red cushions of Rarity's fainting couch. Uh, uh, uh. Rarity waved a hoof. Perish the thought. Smiling, she floated a silk blanket across the dim lights of the Carousel Boutique's first floor studio. The dark haze of night lingered outside the windows. Sweetie Belle's off on vacation with my parents, and I haven't had any projects to work on at the moment. The boutique right now is as quiet and still as it's ever going to be. It's the most perfect moment for you to crash at my pad, as it were. Well, I'm mighty thankful for your hospitality. Applejack snuggled her way tighter beneath the sheet Rarity was draping over her. She bore a grateful smile as the unicorn floated her hat over and rested it on the top of a bejeweled rack. Bunny, once upon a time I would have rather shoved my head into a manicure's jaws than to do a sleepover in the same building as you. Yes, well... <laughs> funny how times have changed. Now, are you sure this is gonna work? Cause Rainbow has this darn uncanny knack for finding the place where I sleep. Precisely! And that place is on the farm, at Sweet Apple Acres. There's no possible way the Pegasus could know that you're bedding here at the boutique for the night. Hmm. <sighs> oh, reckon you're right on the money, darling. Of course I am. Now... Rarity tucked Applejack in and patted her shoulder. You get your much-needed beauty sleep, or apple-biking sleep, or both, whatever the case. She trotted slowly, quietly out of the room, snuffing out several sets of candles in the process. You deserve your rest, and I do hope tonight makes up for the last few evenings. Oh, you bet. Applejack cooed, her eyes closing shut as she drifted off into a blissful, undisturbed slumber. Uh, snug as a bug under a... And the mare's words dwindled into breathing snores. Rarity smiled, snuffed out one last candle, and shuffled her way up the stairs to her own room. Nineteen. Hours later, under a starry sky. Sweetie Belle, no! Not the matchstick, Sweetie Belle!
She shot up in bed, panting, sweating. With a shaky hoof, she slipped her sleeping mask off and squinted across her starlit room. After a few deep breaths to compose herself, the mare sighed heavily, rubbing her face. Gosh, that settles it. No more Chinese takeout right before bedtime. Licking her lips, Rarity realized how parched her mouth felt. So, with stirring limbs, she shuffled out of bed, slipped on her terry cloth robe, and padded tiredly across the floor. Note to self, have mother and father buy fireworks for the summer sun celebration this year. After much lurching, Rarity reached the bottom floor. She trotted into her kitchen, poured herself a glass of water, then took several cool sips. Feeling refreshed, she refilled the cup and carried it across her studio as she made for the stairs again. Another note to self. Place a water cooler on the top floor. As she passed her couch, she smiled casually at Applejack and Rainbow Dash sleeping together. <sighs> Rarity yawned, then made her way up the steps to her. <laughs> the bear spun, juggled her splashing glass of water, and caught it before it could soak the space between her and the two spooning ponies. B -b -b Rarity swallowed a lump down her throat. Apple Dash? I, I mean, Rainbow Jack? I mean, how? She looked every which way. Where? A cold breeze blew at her curled veins. <laughs> Shivering, the mare spun about to see that the front parlor window to her boutique was hanging open. <sighs> Damnation! She rushed over and closed it. Biting her lip, Rarity placed the glass down on a table, readjusted her robe, and shuffled towards the couch. Oh, is there ever any end for the poor dear? She reached a hoof out. Applejack, Applejack, darling, I'm afraid it didn't work. It would appear that... that... Rarity froze in place. She very carefully studied the two mirrors in their slumbering embrace. Rainbow Dash had a delightfully peaceful grin on her face, and Applejack's muzzle mirrored it exactly. In fact, the longer Rarity looked, the warmer and toastier Applejack's expression appeared to be. A rosy glow even lingered on her freckles and Rarity could see where her hoof was entwined with a fetlock of the blue snuggler who had unconsciously cocooned her with feathers. <sighs> Rarity slowly, calmly backed away from the couch. She retreated into the corner of her studio, reopened the window, and picked up her glass of water. Taking a calm sip, she gazed at the two, blinked, then shrugged. With quiet hooves, she shuffled back up to the second floor of her home, not saying a word. <sighs> Rarity leaned before Sir Q Corner's coffee maker. Once the brew had been sufficiently poured into her mug, she lifted it, took a dainty sip, then turned around. Howdy, Rarity! Rarity hopped back, instantly dropping her hot mug of coffee. Whoop, whoop. Applejack, quick as a bullet, shot out her rear leg and nimbly caught the container on its way down. <laughs> she guffawed, lifting the mug back into Rarity's grip without spilling a drop. Good thing one of us was quick on the draw, you reckon? Um, yes. <laughs> I do, suppose. And just how are you doing this fine morning? Oh, um, not terrible. Rarity took another sip for posterity, leaning back. How, oh, pretell, are you doing, darling? 
great. Just bat it in. Applejack swaggered her way to the front counter, hopping once to kick her hooves together in midair. Woo-wee! I haven't had a night's sleep that comforting in a long, long time. <laughs> like I was floating in fluffy blue clouds. Hmm. Rarity sipped again, then brandished a nervous smile. You don't say. Three donuts, extra sprinkles, Miss Cake. Well, sure, dear. Here you go, dear. She dropped a few bits onto the counter, then grinned Rarity's way. Y'all want any sugar cube? Oh, goodness, no. No, thank you. I'm quite good. Because <laughs> I owe you big time. Best idea you ever did think of, Rarity. Besides them fancy smancy dresses of yours. You ever reckon going into med school to become a sleep therapist? Ah. Sweet Celestia, I feel like I can take on the world. Them apple trees better say their prayers, cause they're about to get bucked like nobody's business. And it's all thanks to you, Rarity. Ow, you won big time. She grabbed her donuts and skipped happily out the bakery. Mm, yes. Uh. Rarity stood where she stood. Ahem. About last night, Applejack, I, uh, I think there's something you should know. Applejack spun about, her grin big and stupid, and her freckles even bigger and stupider. Oh yeah? Her dimples hung like rosy moons beneath her glistening green eyes. And just what is that, darling? <laughs> Well, much obliged. She tipped her hat, spun about, and trounced gaily out into the morning sunlight. Oh, it's a great big beautiful tomorrow! <sighs> Verity sighed long and hard. Her face drifted towards the front counter. Mrs. Cake? She gulped, then bore a fragile smile. I think I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Crickets, starlight, bed sheets. Rarity stirred against her pillow. Wrinkles formed along her white muzzle as she struggled with yet another creative fever dream. You find all these, these devilable matchsticks. The unicorn tossed. The unicorn turned. She was starting to grimace, to sweat. Then a pair of yellow wings cuddled her from behind. Rarity breathed and breathed, then relaxed. <sighs> With a soft, silken sigh. She nuzzled one of the blankets of yellow feathers. A dumb smile crossed her lips. Mm? In an instant, she jerked. She snaked a huff off from behind the covers, fumbled, then finally yanked her sleeping mask up to her horn. Eh? She looked over her shoulder. With a tiny, wispy breath, a sleeping Fluttershy snuggled the mare from behind. Rarity could see the bedside window hanging wide open, just a few steps away. Oh, Fluttershy, darling! Not again! She leaned back and squeezed, shook the mare's shoulder. Fluttershy, Fluttershy, dear, you must wake up now. With a little trilling sound, Fluttershy buried her face deeper into Rarity's mane. She quietly cooed. Don't worry, well, sweetie, well. With a sudden smile, she stirred, stirred, then unstirred, curling up against Rarity's neck. Oh, put out. She was out cold. 
Verity stared at her. <sighs> With a defeated sigh, she smiled, then slid her sleeping mask back over her tired eyes. You lazy varmint. And the unicorn drew Fluttershy in closer with a white forelimb. Rarity didn't say another word. No pony did. Not even past the yawning breaths of morning. <laughs>